What's up, fanatics? So, today, another unboxing. And man, this <laughs> is a big one. I mean, this thing is humongous. And if you don't know what it is by looking at the box, this is the Atlantic Technology SBT-1000, and that is a subwoofer. And I think they're probably my favorite things to unbox, except when they get this big. And this thing's huge. Um, now, this is a uh, dual 12-inch, and it's in a ported or base reflex enclosure of some kind. So, you know, it's obviously powered and should look pretty nice and all that kind of stuff. But what I really like about this one is that it's rated down to 10 hertz at minus three decibels. And for 12s, that ain't bad <laughs> at all. So I don't know what kind of port tuning we're dealing with and anything like that. But 10 hertz, that's, that's something to, uh, to write home about. All right, what do we got here? All right, we got a foam piece, which I'll put over here. There you go, Mr. Foam. All right, now there's another box inside of here. Um, let's do it one box at a time, I think. That's probably gonna be the best way. Uh, maybe, I don't wanna hurt that screen. Oh God, yeah, that's heavy. There's always hair on everything. Ugh. Sounded kind of crazy. Ooh, okay. Now I'll pull this up and all those little side pieces are just gonna fall off a bit. All right. Cooking with fire. Hey, those were kind of uh, taped in there, which ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. All right, crunched up this foam a little bit, such is life. Huh. All right, so just so you know, this as part of the 5.1 set that I'm gonna be working on and reviewing. Towers are over here, surrounds are here, center channel, still inside of that humongous box. That thing is big. Bigger than this? In its own way, I think so. All right, um, that does not look like it's ever been opened. This is a review unit, so it's been it's been open and closed a few times. Let's let's flip her over and and do this the other side. Yeah, that's the ticket. All right, now we are down to box number two. And hey. Two, hold on, hold on, one. I don't know what that means. Those are cryptic, cryptic kind of things to have drawn on the box. I do not know. Only one way to find out, the hard way. <laughs> but this is what I love. Oh, if anybody wants to buy this screen, it's for sale. It's like two grand new. If you're in Colorado and you want an awesome perf AT screen, two, four to one, 1.1 gain, THX certified, thousand dollars. Oh, all right, okay. We have more foam, which I love. Oh, this is fitted foam. 
should I be taking it off now? Ooh, there she blows. All right, there's an amp plate back there. And it feels like grill on that side, grill on that side. Power cable. Not grounded. So maybe I can't just lift it out. That's a non starter. It weighs too much, too big. So I've got to flip it. And I think the right way to do it is on this solid side, which I guess is the front of the sub, because there's no grill there to get messed up if it gets squished. And these grills are probably more likely to get messed up than the front. And you definitely don't want to do it on the plate amp side. So this room, which is almost 15 feet wide, is so full that I've only got about six feet of actual room to work with. So let's pull it all the way as far as I can this way. And then we're going to layer down. Sounds solid. All right. Easy does it. Oops, get under there. Okay, when it's coming, it's coming. And we'll give it a final flip onto the top. All right. I believe the top is down. The eagle has landed. All right, instructions, good to have. All right, that pops off. Do I need those? Nah. Get in there. Okay. All right. Yes. Here we go. Looking nice so far. I was right about the grills on the side. Right about the plate amp over here. Ooh, it pokes out too. And the front, it's got like, that's nasty. <laughs> it's, got, like, it's goobers, goobers, like coffee or something. Um, bad reviewer before me, whoever spilled coffee on it. Um, big beefy feet, I noticed from the beginning. Um, okay, I think we will flip her this way. I love, gosh, I just, I love the detail that Atlantic puts into their speakers. It's really, really nice. Oh, okay, port. Rear port, it's gotta be what that is. Cause it's not on this side. That's solid. I don't wanna rip it off. That would be bad, okay. Yeah, that's gotta be, that's gotta be what that is. Ooh, okay, man, look at that. That's, that's a swanky looking piece of equipment. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can see a little bit about what's going on here. Even though it's just, it's so black, it's hard to, and shiny, it's hard to uh, even focus on. I'm gonna have to go manual. That's really cool when camera can barely focus because it's so reflective, it thinks that the floor <laughs> is way out on the other side. So here's the, the front, which is nothing except for the logo. Let's see if I can pull off the, all right, get it off. Ooh. So it's uh, just a plastic frame, plastic posts. Looks nice though. And then the sub, 
looking good. Nice finish even on the inside here. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I'm going to try and take yeah, I don't think I'll try and take this off anymore after this. See if I can give a little more brightness so you can see. There we go. All right, and then we'll flip around to the back. Take a look at the amp. All right. You got your on light, EQ max SPL or max range, low pass, standby on, off auto, phase normal or invert, volume, crossover frequency, line in, XLR in, power, and big ass heat sink. Over here, one more sub, and I am not gonna try and take that cover off. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the SBT-1000 from Atlantic Technology. I cannot wait to fire this thing up and see if 10 hertz are really in our future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.